A young New Zealander with a prosthetic leg is hoping to inspire people around the world. Aucklander Jess Quinn broke her leg playing soccer when she was nine. After it failed to heal, doctors found a cancerous tumour on her thigh bone. Chemotherapy followed and then amputation. But the experience hasn't held her back. Today she's an AUT student, Nike brand ambassador and model, whose Instagram followers number almost 60,000. In her spare time, she mentors young cancer patients who are undergoing similar operations. A recent photo shoot of Jess in sportswear with her prosthetic running blade on show has been shared around the world and the response has been huge, Jess. So tell us about this photo shoot. How did it come about? Um, the photo shoot was kind of something I just wanted to do to show people um, how I was wanting to kind of project my image and I guess um, address social media and I think for me um, there's a lot of falseness going on in social media and people projecting themselves in a light that's not true to them or um, trying to fit into this cookie cutter mould of perfection and I kind of just wanted to use my own experiences and um, I've always heard from people you know you're so inspiring you've helped me through this and that and I kind of just wanted to kind of combine that and um, do a photo shoot to kind of help people as such and kind of see where it could take me and get it get it to brands and kind of help change the face and how we advertise. So how did it work? Did you approach Nike or did um, they come to you? Nike, um, Nike is just a love of mine um, so I kind of just um, yeah I've, I've got a lot of support from the team at Nike here um, but I chose to wear <laughs> Nike on a daily basis um, so the photo shoot was yeah something I kind of arranged with John O'Parker who was my photographer and he's incredible and kind of had the same vision that I had and we worked together to um, yeah really get this photo shoot going and I, neither of us expected the response that it got um, so I kind of put it on social media and just expecting to kind of show people what I had. I had about a thousand followers at the time um, and it was a confidence booster for me as well. I, the blade was quite new to me at the time and just to kind of be kind of combine my sport and fashion background together um, and really yeah just kind of put this idea across that something a little different. So you are, you were you say you were surprised by the impact that it had. I mean, what what kind of response have you had from people about it? Yeah, I was I was blown away. I still am blown away. Um, so the photos, I got a really good response straight away. I was getting messages from people from all walks of life, um, which was the goal for me. The goal isn't. I was worried about being put into this um, disabled model category or models with adversity, which I'm fully supportive of, but I didn't want to be put into one specific category, if you like. Um, and so the response I got, I got um, reached out by people in the Marine Corps and just saying, you know, you've really helped us through some tough times, just finding inspiration through me and um, other people dealing with cancer and other people who've had amputations and then also just um, young girls and guys who have just got small insecurities or big insecurities you know that kind of just uh, as I guess as big to them as mine are to me and um and I think that was the coolest thing for me is that it has kind of just um sat so well with so many different people which is what the goal was. So tell us about the blade I mean how long have you had it how long have you been running? Um, I think I've had the blade for about nine months um I've been running for about properly running for about three weeks on it I've been training for the whole nine months um but the first I guess eight months was just me doing core stability and like there's a lot I mean I haven't run for 15 years so it's I haven't used those muscles and obviously I had quite a complex surgery so I'm using muscles in a completely different way than what they were made for so I spent a lot of time working on my glutes and my core and just my stability and um, kind of the control with the blade because it's completely different to the prosthetic that I have. And you're aiming for some major event with it? Yeah, I'm, I don't have a specific event in mind, but I'm aiming for 10Ks before 2017, so <laughs> that's the goal. <laughs> right. Um, so you do a lot of amazing things. What What is the thing that you love to do the most? Um, I mean, I love it all. I love... I love the fact that I can reach out to so many different people like I, I consider myself lucky to have this platform that I have and have this opportunity to help people um, and with that comes with my um, mentoring the other cancer patients and people going through similar surgeries and people often you know want to think that's quite tough on me but it's not it's I, I love it and I love to be able to kind of it's like home for me going up to the hospital which kind of sounds a bit funny but it, it's so nice to go back into that environment and I think like I, I enjoyed seeing people who'd come out the other end when I was in hospital also having that to be that person for somebody else is amazing. It's wonderful. Thanks for coming in, Thank Jess. You. Great.